Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sin of Saints and welcome to my channel. If you enjoy the content, please leave a like, share, and subscribe for more. Um, so, in today's video, we are uh, bumping into uh, our good friend Lord Commander Guts. And uh, some of his late nights. Uh, this is just an initial bump in. We're not actually teaming up together, though we are on the same team, so I guess we are kind of teamed up together. Uh, this is uh, tier two and three, and there are some tier fours in here. <coughs> Sorry, but uh, this is uh, PVE. You know, uh, so everyone on our team, at least initially, is a player, and everyone uh, on the enemy team is an AI. Uh, during this game is when uh, it first clicks to me that the uh, crosses on the map are where you can go to uh, heal your uh, units. So, granted I don't uh, make that connection until the literal very end of the uh, match. So, I also didn't realize you could respawn yet. Uh, I actually didn't realize that until I was uh, making uh, my first video for the Alpha. Also, I love how uh, those men can charge down those uh, concreted uh, columns, those uh, mortar and, and pestle columns. I don't... Uh, it's interesting, you know. <laughs> uh, mostly, my communication is uh, limited during this. I feel like while I do try to help out here, you know, getting the surround off on this cab, and stuff, I feel like a lot of what I do, I do by myself. Right so. Uh, that's this match later on, uh, you know, I, I, in a different video, I will be teaming up with, uh, Guts and the Late Nights, uh, but, uh, this one, we just kind of happened to bump into each other, uh, also, I might have reported Guts trying to add him as a friend, um, because it was in Chinese, and I don't speak Chinese, and obviously, I didn't know at the time how to change it to English, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Might have accidentally reported him. I don't know. I did figure out how to PM him, and then we, uh, teamed up together, so that was nice. Uh, it's always good, uh, knowing that you have some competent people on your team, and knowing, uh, how they play more or less. Uh, and if you noticed in the chat, I did make the comment, uh, kind of, uh, ironically, I guess, kind of, like, as a joke, that I wasn't playing, uh, Roman Cap, because, uh, if you know me from <coughs> the Wargaming, uh, Total Arena, uh, you would associate my name, uh, with Scipio Cav. Almost. Unindictable. Like, that's, that's just kind of what I played, and I was damn good at it so. uh, but yeah no I thought I would branch out a little bit more I did uh, right as uh, war gaming's total war arena was coming to an end kind of fall in love with Carthage uh, with uh, Hastrabal and I like him even more in uh, this one uh, which you can't tell it in tier 2 but in tier 3 when you gain access to your next ability that gives you a melee buff, and it also heals your unit now that you're buffing. So that, I feel, makes him an amazing support character. You're giving them a melee buff, and you're also healing them at the same time. Like, it's only like 250 health to the unit every second for, I don't know, 10 seconds or whatever. I, I, I haven't looked at the ability to know the exact length and duration at last that's pretty powerful in my opinion so 
So as you can see there, I got into the fight, kind of spread my units out, went where I was needed. Kind of been holding off the tide of Greeks and Romans there with my one commander. Luckily, uh, we are playing the AI and I didn't get flanked because of it. But even still, that does kind of show how... Uh, how good a, a, a unit like hoplites can be from the front, uh, even if they are Carthaginian hoplites. So one thing I have been thinking about, guys, and you guys can tell me whether uh, you guys like the way this sounds or not, uh, but uh, I'm probably going to be releasing a video every uh, couple of days. Uh, it just depends on what uh, we find out from NetEase about what they're going to do uh, preceding the alpha here. Uh, are they going to open it up? For more regular play, uh, more uh, readily, you know, or is it going to be something that uh, they keep under wraps for a while? Like, I just, I don't really know what their plans are. So I am interested in that. So I'm probably only going to be releasing uh, videos every couple of days. Uh, Though I am going to be kind of stockpiling them as I go along, so that I have them ready to go. Um, here I'm trying to make a move to help uh, this guy out. I see he's fighting a lot of cav, and spears are, uh, unsurprisingly, get a bonus to fighting cavalry. Uh, but as I come up, I see these tier 4 swords. Uh, so I went from, oh yeah, I'm going to fight this, to... My only support is tier 2 swords, we're outranked by two levels here of uh, combat prowess, so I was like, I thought I would just hold a choke point here and uh, do my best. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, ultimately though, I would have lost that fight. And I thought I'd get kind of close, take a look at it. and unless I'm mistaken, that is Carthaginian swords, and... Then I saw that I was being flanked by Romans, by a lot of Romans, and I realized that my time on Earth was finished. And if I was smart, I would have respawned after this, but of course I didn't know that you could respawn at the time, so I just kind of died. However, I do realize that uh, here at the end, you'll see me say something about uh, the little crosses on the ground and do they uh, heal your units nobody responds to me I run all the way to the enemies thinking that hey maybe I can capture this from them heal my units and uh, get back into the fight uh, well that's obviously not how it works in order to gain a healing uh, area you have to take control of the capture point and then it puts the healing area on your side. Uh, generally, I've noticed that for the side that it starts on, it's closer. So for them at D, it's closer than if it was for us. Uh, given kind of like a defender's advantage, uh, they can kind of hop back real quick, heal, and then get back into the fight. Uh, and this is where I see uh, weight classes of troops coming into big plays. Right, you got the Romans and the Greeks, which are real heavy. Uh, you know, I feel like they're going to find a semi-offensive role, but primarily defensive, as they, uh, they're they not as quick as Barbarians or Carthage. 
on being able to move. So I feel like uh, once it becomes an offensive game, it will be more difficult for them to stay uh, replenished and be in the fight versus a barbarian unit, which can run up there real quick, get into the fight a little bit, okay, I'm hurt, pull out, go heal, and then get back in to the fight and gain ground uh, before the enemy, if they went back to heal, could, or uh, uh, whatever the case, uh, if that makes any sense. Uh, This is when I realized that, hey, they can spawn here, and that spawning was a thing. Uh, which kind of confused me, because I didn't think it was a thing at the time. And so it was kind of a little bit off-putting. But, uh, I, I hope I explained my point previously about uh, being, being able to resupply and stuff uh, quicker than the Romans. Uh, or the Greeks as Carthaginian or Barbarian uh, being able to run back to your uh, nearest healing point get healed up get back into the fight uh, which helps you to be more uh, aggressive for your team versus a Roman or Greek unit which might want to stay for more of a defensive purpose uh, obviously Romans are great offensively they can just slaughter the enemy in droves but they're slow, uh, and because they're slow, they're less. They're going to be less effective at being able to push and uh, retreat from the fight, and then come back to the fight. Because either you stay until you die, <coughs> which puts a uh, respawn timer on you, which I assume only gets longer the more you die, or they slow boat it back to the nearest healing and then back into the fight which I would assume would be uh, significantly faster than if they stayed and died but at the same time it's gonna take them a while before they can actually get back into that fight uh, versus a barbarian unit which can just run circles around or even a Carthaginian unit uh, they'll, they're you know they're heavier I guess in some aspects, but they're still kind of a lighter troop. Um, I, I think it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, hopefully we can get some uh, games in, uh, maybe with some of you guys in the comments and stuff. Of course, I'm always open to you guys uh, sending me friend requests. I'm fine with it. Uh, I might be able to play with some of you sometimes depending on when I play versus when you play and how schedules work out uh, I do I do want to uh, play with you guys and if you guys do seem to show interest uh, maybe even forming a clan uh, and as a group we can all discuss possible names of course at the end of the day I do I would have uh, most likely final say although I would uh, put it to a vote you know find a few good options and p put it to a vote see what you guys uh, think would be a good name uh, out of the suggestions that you guys give me uh, I think that would be interesting I think that would be fun uh, and of course uh, if you guys want to join an established uh, clan uh, I'm going to personally suggest uh, late nights which is uh, Commander Guts, uh, his clan. Uh, that's just personally. Uh, I had a little bit of an issue, not significant, uh, but a, a, a small issue with um, Sun Tzu clan. Not like on a personal level, uh, or anything, and I have nothing against any of them as players, they're all really good players. Uh, my issue was more with how uh, Sun Tzu was just really prevalent in Reddit, and how the Reddit community was able to just kind of shape the game however they wanted, if that makes any sense, and I felt like it was kind of uh, almost exploitive, like Sun Tzu got preferential treatment. I'm not saying that they're not good 
uh, players or anything like that by any means. They're great players, and I'm sure they're wonderful people. I haven't really had a lot of uh, interaction with them outside of the game or anything like that. And, or, and I'm not trying to, like, not offend anyone, if that makes any sense. Uh, but... I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend somebody join them, uh, but just because they're such a large clan, I feel like it might be... I feel like maybe, and this is just me speaking from the outside, not knowing anything from the inside, realizing this, alright? I feel like some of the new players that might be joining might be a little bit overlooked, uh, maybe not always quite receive the amount of attention they deserve, to put them on a, a higher tier level of gameplay versus if you went into late nights, I feel like you might get a little bit more uh, attention towards you. And of course, if we started our own, I would want to spend time with uh, each and every member just to kind of gauge where they're at and uh, try to set up uh, different segments of times uh, to where I could kind of help train uh, and, and kind of explain maybe some of my thought processes and how to work uh, as a, an effective unit. Of course, Grant, this is an entirely different game than the original one, uh, so some of my thoughts and ideas might be a little bit outdated. We'll just have to see how things go. But, having said that, guys, uh, man, I feel like I've got so much more that I can talk about and just continue on going. But we'll catch into this later. I just kind of talk and, you know, do whatever. Uh, I don't script anything. I feel like I could keep going, like I said, for a little bit here. But, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And, uh, I'll catch y'all guys on here later. Uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, yeah. So, peace. Shangfang